information, call 313-891-4900. Co-Tech. Hey, this is Billy Jones. Talk Beat Jones. Watch us every Saturday from 1 to 2 p.m. You will enjoy calling and talking on Talk Beat Jones. See you then, Saturday, 1 to 2. Seniors, are you concerned about taking care of yourselves and continuing to live in your own home? In-Home Help Agency provides services to keep seniors safe, comfortable, and independent at home so they can continue to live in their home. We help seniors with their activities of daily living like eating, feeding, bathing, grooming, dressing, transferring, mobility, medication, meal preparation, errand shopping, laundry, light housework, companionship so that seniors can continue to live in their homes. Call us today, 313-874-2000. That's 313-874-2000. We are hiring caregivers. Call now, 313-874-2000. Call now, 313-874-2000. Don't delay. Give us a call right now at 313-874-2000. Feedback. Feedback. Hi, this is Theo Broughton. And I am the BDM Pina. Inviting you to join us each Monday at 9 a.m. for Feedback. A positive image production by Hood Research. Encourage others to tune in each Monday on Comcast Detroit, Roku, Amazon Fire TV, watch WHPR TV Network anywhere. And take us along with you. Feedback. 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 Hello, I'm your host, Tasha Lee. Good morning, everybody. This is Mikael from HealthWise Enterprise. The health food store is located at 3807 East 8 Mile Road, between Ryan and the Quinda, about three blocks west of Ryan. But some people say we're between Taco Bell and Long John Silver. We're there to service you six days a week from 10 to 7. And you can always give us a call at the studio. I'm <laughs> at, this, at the health food store. I'm at the studio now. Um... And that number will be 586-757-DIET. Again, that's uh, 586-757-3438. And our old number still works, 366-DIET. Matter of fact, we had some people who hadn't been by since we moved three, some year, three, three years ago or so. And uh, it's just nice to share memories with folks. You know, just the family just is expanded. They go, they come back. You know, um, it's just, you know, a beautiful thing. And you, you go around the city, um, folks, you know, recognize you and appreciate you. And um, I always say, and I always believe, you know, all praises go to God. Because just to be open enough to hear the message when I was 18, um, don't eat pork for a week. And just from this, that, just open up the doorways for for this to uh just to happen and um uh, we had some young brothers that stopped in the store the other day is looking for a job and the one that was 17 he was a little impatient and he of course he was the oldest with the 16 and the 14 and um he didn't want to listen <laughs> so i just thought i'd share with you what i was going to share with them and because it was when I was about that age is when I would start talking to business owners uh, about different the philosophies about running a business. And, um, and the thing is, is you have to have a belief that you can do what you're doing. And you have to have it to be fun. It's something that you really love doing. I always ask my niece and nephews, uh, what would you do if you didn't have to worry about money? Okay, and this was when they was in their teens. And a few of them got the message 
and they pursued their dream and God provided because <laughs> they got the the house, they got the husband, they got the wife, they got the car, uh, car us, and the house, the the education, the job, you know, and the uh, and the friends along the way, and and they were all raised in the church, you know, which is like our foundation for so many things. I mean, we stand on the shoulders of our ancestors, our forefathers, okay. And I was just listening the other day about how we the original people on this planet and how, um, you know, God didn't make us. <laughs> he wouldn't make a a being that can't stand in the sun when, the you know, the, <laughs> the sun is during the summertime is up 10, 12, 14 hours or something like that. They're going to make a being that can't handle the sun. Well, that's what the white folks with the thin skin are. They can't handle the sun. But the original people can handle the sun. The black folks. Our skin is thicker. So we can, to to get that 10,000 IUs of vitamin D, which deals with over 2,000 functions in the body, it takes 8, 9, 10 hours for us to be in the sun. The advantage of white folks, because their skin is so thin, they can spend 20 minutes in the sun to get this oil on their skin and then spend 20 minutes in the shade, and they got the 10,000. I use a vitamin D, D okay? Um, but us, it take longer. And then to tell you the truth, I love being in the sun. I love having my feet on the planet. Who built the planet? God. So putting your feet on the planet, guess what you get? Some healing energy. Now, Wayne Rowland, who put together the Civil Water Program, he used them in some of Texas methods and some of his own. But all these guys were just tuning in to God, and they came up with the civil water. Well, one of the five attributes to promote healing in the civil water is the <laughs> the energy, the hearth energy, energy the, B, the, the kind they call the B-flat energy that's in the earth. And when we put our feet on it, it promotes healing in the body. There's a warning I've seen. If you have high blood pressure, you shouldn't put your feet on the earth no more than 50 minutes because it could thin your blood too much if you're taking <laughs> the drugs and taking God's method, which is putting your feet on the earth. It could be in the water, it could be in the sand, as long as your bare feet is on the earth. And try to get some of that grass that doesn't have any Roundup or some of them drugs in it because that get absorbed into your system too. We don't need that. All right. Um, and so the things that's around us that God is always showing us is how we can make a way out of no way. And it's one of the things I want to share with the brothers is that I got here because I had a dream and I go as far as I can and God would always <laughs> take me to the next level and open up a whole new set of doors. And then I go, oh, okay, if I can do that, now I can do this, 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 and the other. I get that done. Then I get to a stumbling block. And bam, whoa, God said, okay, sit back and figure that out. And it was like working with my father, who was into using his hands, and he always preached and told us he wanted us to use our brain, which is what everybody, all the other elders in the neighborhood was telling us to use our brain is that he would work on a house doing some painting or rebuilding uh, putting cabinets up or, you know tearing them down and then crossing something he couldn't go any further without creating even more damage he would leave it alone and I guess kind of like ask God how can I deal with this problem and then leave it alone and trust that God will give him an answer. And he'd go to do something else and uh, work in this other area, this other room. And then lo and behold, the answer would come on how to attack that first problem. <laughs> now he multitasking, okay? But that's how it works. Yes, Carla, you got a question or comment? Oh, I was going to wait until you finished. I just called in to say that um, the open house, 
uh, that uh, the Unity and Community uh, Organization is putting together. If you remember Mr. Love and his, his shop over on Mount Elliott near you, okay. that Saturday from noon until 5, they've renovated it, and another uh, black-owned business in the area where you are, and they're working to uh, build up the community here in Detroit, one business at a time. I love so it. It's at 18070 Mount Elliott, and I just wanted to share that with you so that if you have a few moments, you could just, you know, come on over and and um, wish them the best. I will do that because that's what brothers did for me. <laughs> All right. So that's noon to 5 p.m. on Saturday. Pass the baton on, bro. <laughs> yes, we do have to pass the baton on. Walk your talk. I appreciate right. you. I appreciate you. Oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. See, let's see. Uh, here we go. That's what I love. <laughs> I love the love. You know, I walked in here with uh, uh, Miss Joanne Watkins, and this got a couple of brothers, and you can just feel the love in the room and stuff. You know, and um, so they had a show that's full of love, and um, we have a show that our temp is to show lots of love, lots of fun, lots of happiness, lots of methods of using God's way to promote healing, promote uh, fun, promote laughter, because God got a sense of humor. He didn't want us to have a good time. It's even when we are laughing do we promote healing in our body. I mean, God ain't leave no stone unturned for us to have a good time. <laughs> uh, it's just uh, amazing. But and using, you know, those methods, those belief systems, the BS, um, you you write down your goal, and you see it, and you believe it in your heart. You don't worry about the different steps to get there. You just go as far as you can. And that is like <laughs> living on the edge, living excitingly. Uh, it takes a lot of nerve to do that because it's the same thing when you want to switch over to eating more fresh fruits, more f- uh, vegetables, more nuts, more seeds, more sprouted food. Even find out what sprouted food is, okay? Uh, more getting omega-3s either from the fish or getting omega-3s from uh, salmon or plus pills or even cleaning out your colon, you know? <laughs> I had a brother say, man, I ain't going to have no colonic, have nobody stick nothing up my butt. I'm not a, you know, prefer the same sex or anything like that. <laughs> but when he did it, he said, man, it felt so good when they took that thing out, <laughs> which I thought he was crazy, but it was fun. But he's still traveling the world today, you know, and he he's older than me, <laughs> okay? It's because we have that, um, that belief that um, the age ain't nothing but a number. How many times have we heard that in songs? Uh, somebody talking to you when they say that? Age ain't nothing but a number. Can you radiate with that? Can you do the steps to make that happen? Okay. Can you drink the water based on what your body needs to make that happen? Can you do the deep breathing uh, to stimulate the blood circulation? Okay. In your body to stimulate lymphatic circulation in your body to make that happen? Okay, can you take a strong multiple vitamin, a strong multiple mineral every day while you're waiting for them to restore the nourishments in the earth that God gave to all of us and gave us some methods on how to restore the, the nutrients in the earth? Okay, God is a major recycler. Okay, we put the nourishment back into the earth, and you know the cycle. And so, those are the methods that we use to be successful in business, to be successful in the business of your life, of your career. I've seen Les Brown talk about this. I've seen Tony Robbins talk about this. I've seen Abraham Hicks talk about this. Okay. This Dick Gregory talk about the same method to making changes in our lives. It stops in our belief system. And... I was doing some research and about 
and it just came across this article. I you know Prince is a <laughs> I really didn't know I know Prince was heavy, but I ended up was recognized, you know, it's a lot of major cities around the country, if not the world, had a purple high you know, highlight throughout their um uh through their cities at night for Prince. <laughs> you know. Of course we got the uh conspiracy theorists saying that um well, they say Prince died, but we didn't see any body. <laughs> he just got tired, okay? Because he was a health nut too, as they say. And like I was sharing with his sister the other day, because she was telling me they, they call me a health nut because, you know, I want to take vitamins and minerals and black giant molasses and you know, and I, I was taking colloidal silver, but you tell me about the civil war and some of the differences, you know, but people keep calling me a health nut. And I said, they used to call me that too. My friend, they still do. But I just tell them, what's the, I ask them, what's the first three letters in nutrition? <laughs> I guess it's my own internal joke here. Uh, but anyway, Prince. Did Prince die from painkiller addiction? This is becoming a phenomenon. It's pain. And people wouldn't do anything to get rid of pain, including taking uh, opium <laughs> to get rid of pain. It's this, um, and they said that um, opium fields, or poppy fields, and heroin fields, and all of these, and, and in Afghanistan has more than doubled their population and their growth over the last 10 or 15 years. <laughs> and based on this article, maybe I was misunderstood, but the feeling I got what they was taking part of that, like they do parts of other herbs, and... Um, and they think that's the healing part or that's the part that uh, gets rid of pain or or whatever and then they go to the laboratory and duplicate it and come up with some plastic and get that to you along with the part of that from the herb and it gets rid of the pain and they start off with this painkillers Ex extreme cases where nothing else would work. <laughs> and now they're giving it to you if you got a minor backache. <laughs> yes, Carla, you got a question or comment? Yes, hello? Hi. Could you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, I am calling because I have a son who's 30, I don't think he's about 35 years old. And um, I've been trying to tell him not to take the high blood pressure medicine. He's a healthy man. Um, he don't have heart problems, you know, kidney problems, and all of this. Um, this high blood pressure medicine he's been taking for like a month or two, and it caused that, um, like them side effects. And I believe he's just been under a lot of um, stress or whatever. But I can't. Stress cause your high blood pressure to go up. Oh, your yeah. stress can cause your Pardon high me? blood pressure to go up and a whole lot more. <laughs> yeah, and he's like six five. He weighs um he weighs I think he's like um maybe three hundred and so he's a big dude. He's really huge and he's tall and um and I believe he got too much weight on him. Okay. Does he is he athletic? No, he didn't tell me he was a diabetic. No, not diabetic. I'm sorry, I didn't Pardon pronounce me? it clear. Does he move? Does he exercise? Run? Bike? Do any exercises? Yeah. Lift weights? I don't know how much he. I don't know how much he does it, but he he does um, exercise and he does have a bike. But I don't know how much how frequently he exercises and stuff. But I think he eat really bad, probably like because he work from in the morning and get off work about nine o'clock, and he worked from 
through the day from Monday through Saturday, and I don't believe he eat properly. So you think he eat um, processed food? Yes, like a lot of that frozen food, sodium stuff, restaurant food. Well, some restaurants are good because there are a lot of vegetarian um, meals and menus on there. But uh, the fast food places, we know they're loaded with processed food. Even though I did hear McDonald's was um, considering switching over to uh, non-GMO foods, which would be huge for all of us. But that's where, so he's eating processed food, restaurant food. He's not getting at home cooked meals that you used to pay for, make, make for him? Yeah, I used to cook like that for him. <laughs> but he's grown and married now. His wife works. Hold on for a minute, please. Well, his. His wife, she works. And I don't believe that he eats properly. But, uh, but she, I was trying she works, to tell him uh, his wife works, um, he she can't cook? discontinue the can medication because um, if he if he just started and if he stay on that high blood pressure medication and and if he don't monitor it right and don't take it all the time, it can wind up throwing him in a stroke and his body can wind up being dependent on that medication. So I was trying to look for him to do like holistic um, you know, herbs or so. And I don't believe he, he really have high blood pressure. <laughs> I, I love it. Okay. Because um, you, you are a prime example when they say the wisest person in the village is the cook. Because um, what you're saying is what I believe too. Okay. Um, not just for just your your 35 year old son but for 35 year old people period okay uh -huh. or younger than that or older than that uh -huh. there's, there's no disease on this planet that God didn't know ahead of time and didn't put the nutrient on the planet for us to cure that disease okay uh -huh. Get, make the body 100% healthy because um, they actually use the word cure when it comes to animals and they have cured high blood pressure, heart conditions in animals since the 40s. They've cured sugar diabetes in animals since 57. They've cured arthritis in animals 300 years ago, all with using nutrition based on their body weight. And when people have these conditions, those are God's signals. It's like this owner's manual of your, temp your blood pressure is above, a, what is it, 120 over 80, okay? Well, then you need to start getting some avocado, Okay, which is loaded with vitamin E, which is a natural blood thinner to bring your blood pressure down. Okay, green foods. You know, the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. The darker the green foods is loaded with chlorophyll, which is not oh. the one mineral difference between plant chlorophyll and the human blood. So when you start taking things like chlorophyll, like at HealthWise, we had this product called green. We call this it greens, but it's called Stabilized Greens from the Civil Water Company. And it's loaded with about 25, 26 different foods that has the minerals in it, the trace minerals in it. They get it from the sea. They get it from land that they nourish the soil. So you're getting the trace minerals in there. And people come back and say <laughs> remarkable results with it as far as their blood pressure become normal because food heals. God made us. God made the food. They go together. Okay, and when you take your food with a strong multiple vitamin, a strong multiple mineral supplement, you get what we call a synergy effect, which is 3 plus 3 equals 7. You will get more nourishment out of your food when you take it the way God intended it to operate, which is a heavy doses of vitamins and heavy doses of minerals, grown without pesticides and herbicides like organic foods, what they call today. You know, now you're giving your body what it needs that God intended it to operate and we designed to move our body that's why i asked you about exercise is it designed to drink and good some good water and health wise we give it away some people give us donations to help with the water bill okay and you know you can bring your two gallon jug over there or one gallon jug over there and to get the good water him at 300 pounds he needs to be drinking 150 ounces of water was well, 128 ounces he got a gallon <laughs> so that's 
about 15 eight ounce cups of water a day does he you know I, I, since she's not living with you no more you may not know that but uh, yeah, i've been willing to all to those that. all those things give your body what it needs and people have taken them and they used to have high blood pressure they come back and tell us they no longer have it right now i just want to say this again what kind of doctor will give a healthy man medication without telling him the side effects but just i guess he believed that if i give you this medication that you should be wise enough to look for the uh, side effects on your own but I had to get on the internet because he seemed like he don't. Oh, mom, uh, I don't really take this stuff, whatever. But uh, I had to take it because my head was hurting, and I was like, let me get on this, get on this computer and on YouTube and see what this medicine all about. Like I told you before, and they're saying it's for heart failure. People who had heart failure, um, it caused arrhythmia, and. Um, and uh, what was the other uh, kidney problems? Or it either caused kidney problems or people who had kidney problems. Why would you take medication and then they say on the YouTube that the medication only controls the problem, it, um, high blood pressure. It don't get rid of it, it controls it. Then they have these uh, inhibitors inside the um, medication, people who have heart uh, failure. And then, then you can't eat any potassium, and then you have to monitor this. And he, I know he's not monitoring anything, and and I know a friend of mine in Ypsilanti, he wound up dying because he wasn't taking his medication uh, rightly. He did it once before his father said, and then later on he did it again, and he wound up dying. That medication is, if you don't have a chronic problem and you don't uh, monitor it right, you wind up dying. I feel you, sister. I mean, you're preaching to the choir with me. I'm a man in you all the way. I can't. I can walk around you and just clap my hands, because uh, that's how what you're talking about is. You know, is the truth. Is there? And that's one thing I like about the internet is that we can do the research. Why would we drop our guards because somebody took their hood off? They still got the white coat on. Okay. And how are you going to walk around being insensitive to your environment? Okay, because when them folks gave you the drugs, it had an aura around it. That if you're sensitive enough, you can pick that aura up. You can take that drug, put it next to your heart, and have somebody press down on your hand. And if your hand goes drop down like that, I wouldn't take it. But if you hold it out and somebody press down and it stays steady, I would take it. Those are just signals and how the body, God has designed our body to operate so we can tell if something is good for us or not. They got fancy names for that, okay? And that's just, you don't have to do that. It's not a medical advice. <laughs> it's just something that I've seen done. They got names for it. It works. Okay, now, so I'm gonna hang up. And could ahead. you repeat that again? I'm gonna record the uh, what my son needs to take. Could you give me uh, no, a couple no, no. of the Tell you what, medications? No, no. I mean, not medications. The foods he's supposed to eat. I'm gonna hang up wait, wait and I'm gonna record wait it so I can let him hear it. All right, thank you. Bye bye. Yes, ma'am. Okay, she then lit up our lines. This um. Okay, how do we do this? Oh, here we go. <laughs> One minute, um, air person. I just want to tell the lady, could you call me after the show at 366-DIET? Okay, 313-366-DIET. Give me about 15, 20 minutes, okay, to finish up the business here, and then we can talk more detail. Carla, thanks for waiting. Hello? Hey, man, how you doing? Okay, one second. Hello, Carla? Could you, could yes, you hold, hold one second, to... please? Okay. Thank you. I think I got this. Okay, Carla. First, Carla, yes? You had a question or comment? Yeah, she forgot to mention whether she had paid up his life insurance or not. So I'm like, they're going to have a problem with that. Uh... <laughs> you can, you got to have plan B, huh, brother? All right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, boy, my people. That's the truth. I mean, hit it hard and hit it the truth. Yes, Carla, you got a question or comment? Yeah, I just wanted to uh, alert people and uh, those in your listening audience, if they look up naturalnews.com, uh, it, is no, it is not a coincidence, and it is definitely deliberate that the poisoning, the mass poisoning, is always targeting black communities. So you got to get uh, educated and get into your holistic and your spiritual education so that you could uh, guard yourself against all uh, these um, mass poisoning that's targeting your community. There are scientists that have already um, um, admitted that the poisoning that's going on is targeting black communities. And you can look it up on naturalnews.com. And the a white guy that's telling us is saying that, you know, you know, telling us what, what and why, and he's taking a risk on telling us this, but he wants us to know that it is wrong and, and, and he don't, you know, can't stand for it, and white and black people need to fight against this injustice. But, and the, my thing is we need to know for ourselves as well, and I'm grateful and thankful for people of any race that wants to bring the truth out. Mm-hmm. called naturalnews.com. Well, thank, thank you, you sister. for taking the call. Thank you. Thank you for sharing the uh, sharing the word. I love it. <laughs> wow. Man, I love y'all. I just this is so beautiful. Okay. But this is what we do at Health Wise all the time. I um, mean folks come up in there and they get a chair and a stand, they share uh this information all the time. We do it here on at WHPR all a week. But at Health Wise at thirty eight oh seven it's on and popping. We really be sharing a lot of information, just empowering people. Okay, it's just, you know, I just love it. Each one teach one. Each one love one. Each one give a hug. Okay, five hugs a day. We are powerful beings. When we hug one another, you amplify that healing inside of you and each other, especially if you actually mentally, physically sending that love from your heart to their heart. <laughs> it's it's amazing, um, but uh, the the sister, the things that needed to be covered is food. Okay, one of the first things I'm, I mentioned several things, but one of the first products is this product called Stabilized Greens. Okay, we I think we out of it. May have one thing, but we expecting a uh, shipment in tomorrow. But we go through a lot of it. Because it works. And the proof of the pudding is, the, you know, people getting great results. They share those results with other folks. And they share results with other folks. And they share results with other folks. I'm just vehicle, do the best I can to not run out. Okay. Um, even the guy that turned me on to this, he came to Detroit, said to just, you know, God, he didn't say God. But I feel it was like God that led him to me because I keep the civil water in Michigan. That's what the people who make the civil water tell me. I'm like, God keep it in Michigan. <laughs> okay, folks. Stabilized greens. Avocado is a food they use to make guacamole with. Um, but you can um, buy it as like a dark brown, purple color shell. You want to wait till it gets soft. And then, you know, you cut it open in half, and there's a seed in there. If you're only going to use the half of it, just keep the seed in there. Of course, then wrap it up in some um, uh, some some plastic, uh, put it in one of those PBA-free plastic bowls. You know, keep the seed in there. And if you want, if you got some of that 3% food-grade hydrogen peroxide, you can spray a little bit of that on there. Okay, let's put oxygen there. It's a natural food preservative. Uh, almonds is another food that's rich in vitamin E, and it's also a source of fiber, uh, which is what fruits and vegetables are. Also, besides being like us, seventy percent water, being like the planet, seventy percent water is um, uh, okay. Uh, being like the planet, I can say seventy percent water. Um, providing the oils. 
okay, like your flax seed and your chia seed, um, getting omega threes into the system. Oil is so important dealing with inflammation. Oil is so important dealing with pain. Most of the time we get it from our fish. But the thing is to fry the fish. It's better to just bake the fish. Okay. Bake the fish. Put in your herbs and spices. Your oil. I like to cook ours in coconut oil. And by the way, you keep your coconut oil at room temperature. If you didn't already know that. And it's like your oily fish. Like the salmon. And your, um, I think, um, um, I had, I had a list of different fish, but one of the ones that I know and would love is, of course, the salmon, the sockeye salmon, uh, salmon from North Atlantic, okay, uh, uh, Pacific. And um, they have farm-raised salmon. <laughs> well, whatever your meat you get, if you can get a hold of some 3% food-grade hyperoxide, you can soak the meat into that for about a half hour in the refrigerator. If there's any toxins or chemicals, uh, a lot of times that oxygen will pull it out. You know, and then the water looks like some of the dirtiest dishpan water you've ever seen. Take your fish or chicken or turkey, whatever you're soaking, out, rinse it off, cook it, and we just continuously hear reports of how much better the, the the chicken or the fish or the turkey, you know, taste because you got a lot of pesticides and herbicides and nitrates and nitrites, a lot of the chemicals out of the meat and things. Um, but those almonds and avocado, uh, the stabilized greens, a strong multiple vitamin, one we carry at HealthWise called, called Ultimate Classic. It's got a high doses of vitamins, much higher than what the government recommend, because they keep the recommendations down low because they get underhand support for their campaign by not raising the vitamin count up higher since the 30s or since the 40s. Uh, some of this I get from uh, uh, Dr. McCullough's uh, website. And some other sites, which I'm going to check out, is naturalnews.com. And he talked about they haven't raised the vitamin count since the 30s and the 40s. <laughs> Dr. Wallace said they have done that for the animals in the animal kingdom. For the vegetarians, they are taught to raise, give the animals a lot more vitamins than, than the, you know. And we, animals, okay, we need the high doses of vitamins and the high doses of minerals. This is how our body operates. These are the tools that God designed our body to operate on. <laughs> okay? is the high doses of vitamins, high doses of minerals. Plant can almost pull vitamins out the air, but the minerals have to be in the soil. So in America, about 98% of the soil has been depleted of its minerals. And it's, the nutrients is not put back in. Or the soil is not given a chance to rest. Okay. So you have to take supplements to get the level of minerals and the level of vitamins that your body is designed by God to operate on. And that's at 30, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, whatever temperature, whatever age you are, you can operate at peak performance. If you put in the things that God intended it to operate on, and that does not include, as the sister was saying, processed foods, um, those gluten foods. A lot of folks can't handle gluten foods. Um, when we start first start eating bread, or with that slogan, bread and water, we can, you know, bread was when about, <laughs> ooh, it had about 20 grams of fiber because it was loaded with nuts and seeds and the wheat, okay? <laughs> and the wheat grew four or five feet tall. Not this wheat we get nowadays that only grow a foot and a half, <laughs> okay? The longer it takes to grow, the more nourishment it pulls from the earth, the stronger the wheat is, as far as nutritionally speaking. So those breads and waters they talk about in biblical time was, I could say, 20 grams of fiber. 
just right now you get some bread that may have one gram of fiber and in, in, in a slice. I did that with my brother one time. He had some Wonder Bread. I took it out and I balled it up and started bouncing it off the wall. I said, man, what you doing with my food? I said, you call this food? <laughs> I ain't never seen you eat no tennis balls that bounce off the wall. Why are you going to eat this? Okay. It's rich in gluten. The breads, when you ball them up, they should crumble like crackers. That's what a 20-gram slice of bread will do. But the gluten breads, they don't have that glue type of feeling. Okay. I never ball one up. I had to try that out. My wife may have to do it when she ain't around. <laughs> but it's a lot lighter. Okay. And it doesn't clog your system up. And you can put your own spices on there. You can put your own some butter on there or some real salt on there. And that way you know you're getting some real butter with the, when that's you know made from cows that ate real grass, okay? And they gave up the butter without giving up their life, okay? And um, those nourish, nourishments into the body. Using the coconut oil. Remember Mary, Dr. Mary Newport? Gathered her husband's dementia with food because food heals. God made the food. God made you putting in your body what God intended to operate on, just like a $300,000 car. You wouldn't put no cheap gas in it. But we got these multi-billion dollar bodies, and folks want to put some processed food in it. Somebody else made it. You don't even know. There's call. You got a question or comment? Hello? 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 Yes. Okay, I'm the same lady that called. You had mentioned something on on TV, and I want to um, talk about using my butter. Yes. Not margin. Flies won't even eat margin, but butter they will. Okay, so people don't realize that um, margarine is a killer. People don't realize that... Um, Vegetable oil, when they cook in vegetable oil, when they fry their chicken and stuff like that, that's a killer. A friend of mine, he's a scientist, and he told me, he said, stay away from vegetable oil. He said, because it's made of cotton, and your body can't um, digest that. And he said, it, it, it will slowly kill people. And so in a lot of our stores, and our local stores, even at the gas station or our little um, liquor stores, if they sell any vegetable, uh, any cooking oil, it's vegetable oil. It's margarine that's sitting on the shelves. And then they have all these little foods like Vienna sausages. I'm just saying that's another thing. They have all this junk stuff that can kill you day, uh, kill your body daily. So I'm, I want to hear what you have to say about that. Thank you. Oh, this, is this a challenge? <laughs> Oh boy. Um she must be a new caller, but I've been on this air for about fifteen years, sister, and that's all I talk about. Okay. Is um how <clears throat> don't eat processed foods, okay. Um a sausages, a hot dog, a bologna, you know, hamburgers. They have all these different parts of the animals when they slaughter them and like the guts and fats and stuff that they trim away. Well, they blind, blend all that together and put nitrates and nitrates in it so it have a red color to it. Meat is brown or beige. They have a red color to it. And, um, <laughs> and people eat that. I grew up on eating uh, hot dogs and uh, bologna, bologna sandwiches, where you <laughs> put that sucker on some hot uh, um, Crisco grease and slits open the uh, sides so it can uh, uh, fry good and eat that. But God told me for one week, don't eat any pork. And I felt so much better. I said, well, what else have they told my parents that it was food that was okay to eat. That's really not. 
And that's what everybody have to question the food industry. So we can talk about how the FDA will keep the vitamin count low, how the FDA has known for 25 plus years that um, fluoride is a poisonous substance and they still put it in, you know, the public drinking water and they know it caused cancer. Okay? It's just a fallout from when they make energy from these plants. It's so poisonous they don't know what else to do with it so they put it in humans. They call it fluoride. And if you look, a lot of countries, I think it's over 60 of them, that don't use fluoride in their water. That's one thing Mayor Dennis Archer did for a while until they caught up with him. The 90 days he didn't use fluoride in the Detroit drinking water. He used, I think what they use in some places in California, food grade hyperoxide to kill the germs and the bacterias. So... You have to question them. And I thank you for questioning and, and asking people. I know he was asking me, but he was asking all of us to question these people that give us food. Yes, Carla, you got a question or comment? Yeah. I just wanted to add to the subject. Uh, not only uh, it, it is the food and the pharmacy industry that are poisoning black communities. Do your study, your history, Study, uh, look up Cure for Cancer. They'll show you how they're poisoning and torturing the animals and feeding them to you. Do your research. Look it up. Thank you for taking my call. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Carl, you got a question or comment? Yes. Salam alaikum, brother. Alaikum salam, my brother. Uh, uh, you absolutely, definitely touching on the touchy subject when you talk about that floor right. Ooh. And 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 bro and brother, you know when you sit back and think about it, just like the previous caller just said, if for some reason we don't want to believe that we're being poisoned daily, and small degrees, by to understand this is like the situation with the vaccines. You know they have, they have passed a law back in in, in uh, nineteen in in uh, night round seven, I think it was that you actually can't even sue these vaccination companies, I understand, with these mercury bases or whatever. And that's one of the biggest problems or whatever that we, you know, that we're talking about because I think it's like a thousand times more deadly for us, uh, the brain than the lead is. And they, they're, they're putting these mercury-based vaccines and the flu vaccines, and then they're, they're calling everybody down, oh, you need a flu shot. They're vaccinating our, our babies, especially the male children or whatever. And you think about it, understand uh, uh, Congress, the Senate, even even all the way up to the, the white to the White House. You know they know this is going on, and everybody's silent on it or whatever. And you're finding most of those mercury-based vaccines winding up in our community or whatever. And I mean, it's just, it, it's just so many ways that they're killing us and having us from really br bringing up the real natural power that's in black people. It's being stifled with the poisons because they know who we are, but we fail to find out who we really are, brother. So I appreciate a brother like you, man, this exposing. Are you familiar with uh, the benefits of turpentine? Yes, sugar and turpentine, a little sugar cube. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, 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 and I, I think about, uh, uh, there, there's another one, like I say, because, because like I say, and the 60s, they uh, and, uh, injected us with the polio vaccine, which was actually cancer. And 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 you you can take baking soda and maple syrup, and it's a it's a heavy remedy or whatever you know, baking soda, and and uh, bake and uh, the maple syrup, uh, and it's it's good to find that class C uh, maple syrup. There is a brother. Uh, uh, White guy that uh, was down at Decent Market, he's about the only one I know that carries the grade C maple syrup. And uh, th these these will work wonders on us or whatever if we look into it, you know. But I just wanted to bring that to your table, brother. You okay. keep up the good work, brother. Appreciate okay. you. I appreciate you. <laughs> um, one second, Carla. I just wanted to add... I mean, the baking soda, if you can get some aluminum-free baking soda, that'd be ideal. And he mentioned maple syrup uh, C. 
I was always taught A and C was for animals, but B was for humans. Uh, so that's the thing about this industry. You have to check it out. I've been taking B for maple syrup B for years. We have it at HealthWise. But C, I have to maybe talk later on at 366 Diet, bro. Um, and uh, yes, we've talked back when Faircon had the Million Man March back in October that Robert Kennedy um, Jr. It came to Faircon about a week or 10 days before the march and gave him this tape about the CDC, about, about I mean, the DVD about the CDC pushing drugs, especially in the black youth, especially the mercury. Um, now, I always encourage people to take the civil water because it enhances our immune system. They gave us those shots back in the 50s and 60s, and they're still doing it. Um, well, they those shots are loaded with a lot of poisons that will cause diseases or dis-ease in the body. If your body immune system is weak, they say it's designed if you give your body drugs, it's going to amp up to and fight them, you know, and this disease. But would it then tell you that disease stays in your body and you get 30, 40, 50, 60 years on down the road, your body is weak. Now the disease can build a nest and they got 1,500 different names for these nests, okay? Cancer, tumors, high blood pressure, sugar diabetes, et cetera. By taking the civil water, you kill those causes of diseases. Okay, because they, a lot of them was pathogens, which is the parasites, the fungus, the bacteria, the viruses, the molds, the yeast. All of them have one thing in common is that they one cell, which is a foreign substance in the body. When you take the civil water, it kills them. The way God has protected us for centuries is that we ate food that was rich in minerals, and your body takes those minerals and, and produce enzymes, and the enzymes eat up those microscopic bugs, eggs, because you those, those pathogens are bugs, microscopic bugs, you eat up those eggs before they got a chance to hatch and cause problems in the future. So the civil water deals with the present causes of diseases, of a lot of diseases, which is the pathogens and the civil water enzymes eat up the future causes. We know food heals because God made the food. He made us. They go together. So we have to stabilize greens. And we've had sisters who've had tumors, who've had cysts. And in one month, by taking the stabilized greens, you know, every time McDonald's commercial came on, we said eight to 12 times a day. One month got rid of the cysts. One month got rid of the tumors. Okay. And so those are the, some of the things that we can counteract with nutrition. And to get the poisons out of the system, that's what we have the oxy powder for. And it's one of the strongest cleansers for the body that I've seen. And I started cleansing my body back in 68 when I learned that 98% of all diseases originate in the colon. So I'm going to work on the cesspool, that colon. Take enemas <clears throat> once or twice a week. Take the oxy powder once or twice a week or sometimes three times a week or more. We had a police officer who was eating a lot of donuts in his career. And those donuts were rich in gluten. And when he found that out, he know innately. He took the oxy powder. Normally you take it for seven days and take it every other day. He took it every day. <laughs> and normally you take, you know, one to four. He took five every day for a month and lost 30 pounds. And you could see his colon shrunk down. Got that gluten out of his the nest egg of diseases, the colon. He got it out of his system. Feeling a whole lot better. And plus, you drink this water. Um, sorry, Carla, I didn't call her. I didn't get back with you. But it was at some points that the brother had brought up and the sister I wanted to get into. You know, these cures for cancer, uh, which we can't use the word cure pertaining to humans, so we were preferring to animals. Because I've heard them when the sister said, they'll take a, a chicken and they got cancer and cut that half off 
and give you the other half. Well, when you got cancers throughout the whole body, they have a nest <laughs> that you know, where you can go to and see the cancer build up, but that's their home. They branch out throughout the whole body to find another weak spot in your body so it can build another nest. That's what bugs do, <laughs> okay? Your terrain operates on fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, nuts, seeds, sprouted food, which is the seeds that you take and let them soak in water, and they sprout, they grow, and they open up the seeds, and a lot more nourishment is released from it, like the apple corn produce a whole tree. Some of these sprouted alfalfa seeds sprout in one or two days, release a whole lot more nourishment than just in the seed itself. So, you know, in the sprouted food, we well, use like your fermented foods, which we know like pickle and sauerkraut, but there's a lot other type of fermented foods. You know, my sister was telling us she had ulcers, and we kind of like, but she didn't know if they was diagnosed correctly. Folks is questioning the doctors. And I see, you know, they still teach in medical school. <laughs> Take an acid to take the acid out of your system. But Dr. McCola say your body is lacking acid. Put the acid in. So we have a couple of things. Either a lot of folks know about apple cider vinegar, and what's the other one we have is aloe vera and some other nutrients in it that we call stomach formula. And both of them are putting the acid back into your stomach, into your colon. The the gyrodophilus. The friendly bacteria, the fermented foods, gives you billions, sometimes trillions of the friendly bacteria for your gut. My time is over with, but I always got time for five hugs, okay? And you can always give me a call at 366-DIET or my personal line, 313-600-8532. As you can see, I love to talk, love to share, love to learn, and I mostly love to listen. That's that meditation. We can learn to <clears throat> live in a state of meditation as a dear friend of mine shared with me a long time ago. Peace and love, y'all. <laughs>